Hello guys, this is Real Tools. Today I want to show you how to sharpen your edge bevelers or edgers, you might want to say. Uh, this is Kyoshinel Master Heidi Otoshi. I already did a review on this one. It's a very nice edger for the money. And this steel is really nice. It's a high speed steel. SKH51 steel has been used. And it comes with a rod. Okay, and it comes with a sandpaper. With the 2000 grit sandpaper and the simple instruction how to sharpen this. Uh, I'm going to follow up this instruction. Uh, I've been using this method for over the years and it works great. Okay. Uh, luckily, this came with a rod for the size that it fits. Uh, I think Kyoshinel includes the rod, but if you don't have a specific rod that fits into your etcher, uh, go to your craft stores. Uh, they, they might have very thin line of uh, some kind of steel rod or a brass rod. Uh, it's a uh, you know if thinner the edge groove is you have to need you need a smaller thinner rod okay and make sure your rod is straight uh, if you use like bended or grooved wires uh, as you pulling down as you sharpen it on the rod you might have a very crooked edge on the at the tip so you know make sure your rod is straight and you make sure you get the right size for your edge uh, to check your right side is that put the rod against your groove under the edger I mean show you okay it looks like this okay so when the your rod is fitted into that groove here I'm talking about this groove uh, when there's no gap that is the right size uh, if it's too small uh, you will have um, small weird groove into it if it's too big you will have a bigger size than your original edger so uh, choose your ed a rod wisely, okay? So what I'm going to do is that uh, you can you can use this sandpaper uh, if you can source the sandpaper locally But uh, what I have is that I have some of the high quality sandpapers from Matador uh, This is stocky brand. It's made in Germany. It's a uh, waterproof and it's a uh, silicon carbide has been used uh, It's a very fine. It's a uniform of a carbide is, is put on the sandpapers uh, this one is 5000 grit also and uh, this one is uh, 7000 grit and uh, I have 3M uh, polishing film also it's 8000 and this is uh, 15000 polishing film uh, the mat side is where you put your work and uh, this shiny part is just a, just a backing okay so I'm going to go through each grit and I'm going to make this sharp this actually very sharp uh, it was already sharp right of the right outside the package but uh, I take my tools extremely sharp uh, reason is that it just gives you cleaner cuts and it feels better uh, so what you do is that like this in the picture you lay your rod some kind of flat surface in case uh, I use my cutting board and uh, lay your sandpaper onto it okay now you press your sandpaper like this and you will see this uh, some kind of a mark on your sandpaper and you see you will know where you're going okay and uh, just uh, lay your edge comfortably on the rod and you pull okay you never cut into the sandpaper okay just pulling action will do and you only sharpen on the back uh, don't sharpen on the top uh, just uh, sharpen on the back side here group side is is all you need okay so again pull uh, if your edger is dull, you can go with the lower grids, but uh, I think 2000 grid is uh, enough because since there's very small steel is put up at the tip, uh, you don't need aggressive sandpapers to remove, I mean cut into a lot of steels to make it sharp. So. Okay, maybe I could use it like this too. Yep. Oops. Okay. Now I want to use five thousand grit.
if you already you you if I have only two thousand grit sandpaper, it's fine. It's uh, it's just me. You know, I take it to extreme. It's really hard to do this on camera. So, okay, now. All right. Okay. Oh, it's uh, seven thousand. So next I'm going to polish the edge, uh, you, if you can get this uh, it's okay too. Uh, I'm going to finish up with a strop, uh, so uh, this is really overkill, I just want to see you guys, it's very overkill. Okay, just a couple times and uh, Okay, now to make your straw, you know, get some wrong piece of leather and uh, do the edge rubbing on the on the side, and then you apply your strobing compound, uh, polishing compound. It's a green compound or whatever you have. Okay, and that groove you will strop. Again, this is pulling only. Okay. If your edger have a very thin groove, you just don't make a groove and just do it on your on your sharp sharp corners. Okay. All right. So you get this very shiny groove inside this is very sharp blade now uh, I'm going to tell you I brought you different color leather so that it gives you better view of the edge bevler so uh, you know it it cuts very nicely and clean and fast so it's just uh, it's really feels great to work with this kind of a sharp tool because you know this will sh stay sharp very long time and uh, it just gives you clean cuts okay like this on the back side also yep very nice tool so this is how it's done. Uh, you can sharpen your edgers. Any steel will work this this way. Uh, you can sharpen any edgers this way. So that's it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys next video. Bye bye.